You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Why are we even meeting in here? Why are you wearing Jedi robes? Like, wear something else, man. If you're trying to be incognito, every like, General Vaklu has people everywhere. They could just... Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Of course. Was mine. Hello and welcome, everyone, to Ravager and Pyro. Last time, we, um, did get a pretty sweet lightsaber crystal. I don't know if it's... Actually, I haven't even looked at it. I need to look at it. Uh, I need to check that. What? Did she even give it to me? There we go. Ooh. Oh my! Plus five damage. Can only be used by a dark Jedi. Okay, that was a total waste. That stinks. I mean, it is red, so I probably wouldn't use it anyways. That really stinks. That's... Whatever. I mean, I can sell it, maybe. Oh, man. Only... That... That really, really stinks. Why can only Dark Jedi use... Whatever. All right, Dagon. I got the hollow discs. Have you found the encrypted hollow discs yet? I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. Yes, I did. Here you go. Great. Go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter, you best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in ISIS anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Let's hope this meeting goes well. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. <laughs> well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Why are we even meeting in here? Why are you wearing Jedi robes? Like, wear something else, man. If you're trying to be incognito, every like, General Vaklu has people everywhere. They could just kill you right now. Oh man, Master Kavar, I didn't know you were still alive. Kavar, a famed Jedi guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. I didn't expect you to turn on me. I don't blame the Jedi Council. I want to know why I was cast out of the Jedi Order. Yes, I do want to know that. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. But there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expo- Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the of course. was mine. I was certain. Only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim! Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must be to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of him! I won't let Kavar escape! We must prevent the civilians here from coming to harm by our battle. Um, yeah, that goes without saying. Why did he... Okay, maybe he ran because he doesn't want the civilians to get hurt. Um... Hmm, okay, yes, I agree. That goes without saying. So, um, they're already kind of... 
hurt pretty badly. Not hurt, but... Uh, okay, don't use any... You start going after that guy, and let's try it. Light side points. Okay, Mandalore, maybe... Stop the fighting! Stop! Sergeant, take care of the witnesses. I'm sorry we had to do that. What? I... I... I okay. I was curious you ordered your men to attack me when I have done favors for... No. Dre, you entered my meeting! <laughs> my chance to... I wasn't going to kill him. Okay. What's going on here? Appearances have to be maintained. And I'm afraid we don't have much time. You've helped out General Vaklu, and he understands how to show gratitude. We have allies. Terrible allies. They want you dead. However, the General believes you could ultimately be an even greater ally. But we have to maintain appearances. Do you understand? How have I helped the General? I talked to one guy and got him to leave, but that was an accident. Dude, trust me, I, I'm I'm working for the Queen here. I got Dagon Ghent out of prison. Uh, I stopped a riot, kind of. I could have joined the riot, but okay, whatever. Uh, I might as well try to get some information out of him. Why does the general want an al alliance with me? You helped Anda with something that has been a serious problem for us. Anda? The general believes you have already been a more faithful ally than our current ones. I assume you want to know more about our ally. There is little we know about him, or her, even. It's a Sith Lord. No idea of the name. Frankly, we had no idea who we were dealing with at first. And by the time we did, it was too late. Okay, they're working with a Sith Lord. Oh man, that guy in the back is not having a good day. Oh, that's Nico! Hopefully he's fine. Um, and, uh, I don't, that name does not sound familiar. <laughs> There's so many people in this game. Um, okay, why tell me this? The General believes we can make a new alliance that will be in both of our interests. Vaklu wants to control all of Onderon, and perhaps more down the road. The nope. Republic's time is nearly over, and strong men like him will rule the age to come. You have shown that you are strong too, and he feels it inevitable that you become a force to be reckoned with. We'd like to ask your assistance in dealing with our ally, the Sith Lord. We have much to offer in return. No, I am not going to help you. Um... What could you offer me? I guess I have to go through this, learn what he's going to offer me, and then turn him down. Eventually, we will attack Queen Talia's palace. Isis is an ancient city filled with artifacts from our darker past. Some of those might be especially useful to you. Besides, the Sith Lord wants you dead, and an enemy of our enemy. Okay, what if I choose to side with Queen Talia? The Queen has lashed her future to an ailing Republic. When the Republic falls, she will bring Onderon with her. But Vaklu wants Onderon to be independent and strong. And ultimately, being in his good graces would be more advantageous to you. You must make a choice. Will you support us or the Queen? The Queen. Vaklu is a political animal, but he has never backed out of a deal. The Sith must have changed their arrangements substantially for him to consider betraying them. You can trust his offer. He's far more capable than Queen Talia is. I think allying with him is the best course. Yeah, well, you're a Mandalorian, and you haven't won a single war in a long time. No, I'm, ah, I'm sorry, Mandalore, my bad. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm uh, gonna, gonna vote for the queen. Uh, okay, I sense no du duplicity in this offer. Credibility is important in Onderon politics. If he betrayed you and betrayed the Sith, his reign would be a short one. Well, he's betraying the Sith. That is already not a good starting point. Because the Sith are not going to just be like, Ah, oh, well, we understand and let it go. They're going to try to kill him. Um, I can work with General Vaklu. Nope. Uh, uh, I, I don't... This one sounds like I want to kill him. I'm just going to say I'll not work with you. I'm assuming I'm talking to the General Vaklu guy. Then why did you help Anda? You would serve Talia instead? We could help you settle your score with Kavar. I don't want to kill him. 
If I had to choose between you or Talia, I would choose you. No, I don't want Kavar. Yeah, I don't want Kavar dead. You have made a foolish decision. Men, kill the Jedi. He will be of no use to us. Can I get that guy before he leaves? Um, he was right over here. I don't know where he is. Okay. Let's go after him. Kill these troopers. Man, these guys are... Handmaiden is just killing these guys, man. She's so strong. If I if I had a choice, I would get Mandalore out of my party, but I don't think I can on Onderon. I mean, he's he's good. He's a good fighter, but he's not really aligned with me. I'm light side. He's uh, more dark side, so... I would probably get uh, Mira. That's probably who I would go with. Any other guys in here? Man, everybody's pretty chill. There's a couple of people that freaked out, but for the most part, hey, this room's already populating. Oh, it's just the waitress, okay. Yeah, nothing else. Yeah, Nico's just kind of freaking out and they seem all fine in there. Okay, let's see, is my journal updated? Master of the palace, Dagon Ghent was true to his word and arranged a meeting with Master Kavar in the local cantina. Before the meeting had a chance to begin, though, Colonel Tobin and his troops arrived. Isis is no longer safe. Master Kavar said he'd contact you later. You encounter Master Kavar, he fled. Uh, you'll need to bide your time until you can reach the royal palace in Onderon before finally being able to see him again. Your meeting in the cantina was cut short. Um, yeah, so it looks like why did I just... Oh, okay. So I guess H is like swap weapon. You know what? Let me do that. For my secondary weapons. Let me equip. Some... Well, now nah, I'll just do a... I'll do a, like a... A gun. Where's my... I mean, my gun's like okay. Actually, that sounds pretty good. That does ion damage, though. Hmm. Ion damage, I don't know if that's good against, like, humans. Ion, yeah, versus droid. Did I get rid of my gun? Sonic rifle, maybe that was it. Fully upgradable. Repeating blaster rifle. There we go. So I'll use that. But uh, for, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to just use a lightsaber. How much you want to bet I'm going to be fighting more guys out here? How much you want to bet? Not a lot. I, I bet absolutely nothing on that because I knew I was not going to be fighting. Oh, hey, you look like, yep, I, knew, I was right. I knew it. I bet a whole lot of money on that. I knew I was going to be fighting a bunch of guys. They were just late to the party is all. They were just late. All right, let's do some more critical strikes. This is like 9% me, 91% handmade. And maybe Mandalore's helping out a little bit. You know what, let's just throw some frag grenades. Let's do something a little different. There we go. That's fun. All right, gotta watch my healing, my health. Start healing. Another health. One more. And let's do some critical strikes. And I missed. Good job, me. Nice. As long as I fight right beside the handmaiden, you know, nobody could nobody can really tell the difference if it was handmaiden that killed them or if it was me that killed them. So, you know. As long as I just kind of slash when she slashes, you know, nobody could really tell the difference. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm good as a, as a Jedi. Credits. Ooh, a Jedi robe. It's probably not the greatest. Why doesn't it like sort by most recently picked up? Yeah, that's terrible. Defense bonus one. That is pretty bad. But I can, I'm sure I can sell it. Uh, yeah, so let's get out of here. I'm assuming... Oh, I thought I circ 
searched everybody. Apparently not. An immunity belt? What does that do? Attack modifier minus one. And it's only five. I'm assuming that damage resist resistance is just five. So that's not the greatest. And yeah, that, that attack modifier is something I do not want to decrease. Oh, more guys. No, no, I want to, no, no, stop. Why, why is my, why is my mouse? Why is it? I want to, I want to, no, I don't. What's it doing? Look at this guy. Thank you. Get rid of these. Let's do some of my force powers. Let's do a couple force screams. Let's do another one. Yeah, my dark side powers are not the grace. Ooh, Force Whirlwind! I've never seen that before. Handmade, no kill him. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now you can kill him. That's pretty sweet. What else do I have? Stasis. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like the hand I like the whirlwind. Cause that is good at uh probably getting a guy out of a fight. If I if there's like a really tough enemy and I know I leveled up, I will do that. Actually, I'll do that now. Because I want to see if I do can increase my dual wielding oh i do have feats and powers so i think i can all right feats unarmed specialist okay where's the dual wielding that's two weapon fighting this feat reduces the attack penalty of a character wielding a double bladed weapon or two weapons one in each hand the normal penalties of a minus six are reduced to are reduced by zero and four in a total of minus six minus six Use of a balanced weapon in the offhand can further reduce the attack penalty. Okay, I, I'm gonna really think about that. Because I think that's what I need, but let me see if there's anything else that I need that would help me with dual wielding. It's power attack. Yeah, I don't really use blasters. Uh, it's a plus one attack with melee bonus. Actually, I wonder if um, characters that have mastered the use of single-handed weapons gain a plus three attack. Improve dueling. That That's dual wielding, right? Characters that have mastered the use of a single one-handed weapon. Of single one-handed weapons. Both ranged and made this feat. Oh, okay. That is very confusing. Because the name is master dueling you don't duel with a single weapon because i think that's just one-handed what is this dual strike character has advanced training using teamwork to defeat enemies when attacking an enemy that don't probably okay that's pretty good but i don't need that <clears throat> i wonder if i can go to somebody that can to kind of respec i don't know if i can probably not but i think for the time being this is what i want reduces the attack penalty of a character wielding a double bladed weapon or two weapons, one in each hand. Yes, that is what I want. Powers, ooh, ooh, I could do Master Heal. Actually, what do they recommend? Destroy Droid and Force Wave, no. We're gonna go with, uh, oh, now I have to take those off, I think. Destroy Droid, remove power, add. Did they, did I? Do I get two powers? Because it did. Oh, I do get two powers. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, Master Valor. What, where does it show me? Oh, remaining powers. There we go. Yeah, one. So I definitely want Master Heal. The game is kind of wanting me to go as far as damage, but if it's going to be me... Ooh, Improved Revitalize. That is really, really tempting. Only 5% though. It goes from... Wait a minute. This power allows the Jedi to rekindle the life energies of a non-droid fallen ally. It brings the single closest fallen ally back to consciousness with 5% of their total vitality. This brings the allies back to 5% of their total vitality. What is the difference? I mean, this one is better, but... Why would I ever use this over this one that does not make any sense maybe it costs less i don't know i could get force wave 
All enemies within 15 meters are thrown fi five meters, fall to the ground, and are incapacitated for six seconds. Hmm. Or I could go full on Jedi. This power, Jedi, uh, Consular. This power increases the physical attributes, saving throws, and our party members by five points. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stick with my light side powers, and maybe later on I can, uh, do that. So now I should be able to do a wield with much less of a penalty. So where's my the best one? It was this one. Attack modifier. De Ooh, defense bonus minus three though. I'm gonna try it. I know it's it went down to plus twelve, but I'm plus thirteen on this side. Let's let's just try it out. I mean that's sweet. <laughs> just, uh, let's see how this goes. Now I might be doing better against Handmaiden. What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? Uh, yeah, Vaclus. What? Oh, Why? I didn't mean no to sense. do that. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. I have buttons on my mouse and accidentally hit one, so I told him that General Vaclu was attacking me. <laughs> um... Yeah, so not all soldiers are after me. That is comforting. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. Okay, so is that what the game actually wants me to do? You've reached Sky Ramp checkpoint and the soldiers there didn't attack you. A soldier said that command has ordered a comm blackout. Mandalore recommends you leave the merchant quarter before General Vaklu sends more of his troops to stop you. Okay, yeah, so I guess we're leaving. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I really needed to do here. You know what to do. Uh oh. <laughs> oh you guys want to go against a two-bladed lightsaber Jedi guy? I don't think so. Dude, I'm liking this. I love how he fights. This is pretty sweet. This guy keeps healing, too, so... Like a jerk. Okay, there we go. You see, as long as Handmaid's here, nobody can tell the difference between me and the Handmaiden attacking. Remains. Uh, it'd be nice if I could find somebody with, uh, like, orders. You know, oh, General Vaklu ordered us to do this. You know, like some of the more modern games do nowadays. The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired. What the hell does that mean? Uh oh. It's gonna. Uh oh. Is it gonna shoot me? Use my Jedi powers. Yeah. Oh man. Disable droid. <laughs> disable. 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 All right. Let's do it again. Do it again. Keep keep disabling. All right. Next one. Disable more droid. Oh, look at that. This will teach you. Hey. Okay, she's doing well. I'm not. Let me heal myself. Oh, that's so much. That's so good. You're dead. Hey, you know what? Mandalore's actually doing stuff. Come on. Come on, Ravager. What are you doing? Do your thing. Like how chill these guys are. They don't even care. I wonder if I could even hit him from down here with my lightsabers. I'm assuming no. Go after him, handmaiden. There you go. Alright. Next up. There we go. Nobody cares. No, none of the... Can I talk to you? <laughs> no kidding. Couldn't have come. Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. Thank you. Let's get out of here before General Vaklu stops me. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's going to be some time before they forget about us here. Let's no talk and walk, Mandalore. Talk and walk. The situation changes. A lot. Talk and walk. All right. Well, I can pause this. 
Master Kavar said he'd contact you later. Yeah. Tobin and his troops... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Dagon Gent was true to his word. Okay, Kavar. I thought this was new. Nope, that's not new. Even though it said, Jedi, even though it said journal updated, nothing really updated. Later, guys. Had an awesome time, but, you know, I, for I left the stove on at home on Tatooine, and I have to go. It was fun. Be back soon. Please, turrets, don't shoot me down. Thank you. Uh, back on Duxon in the safety of the Mandalorians. We're back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah, that does sound altruistic. I didn't know you had it in you. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. You walked all the way out here to tell me that, and you walked all the way back. You're such a, such a good guy, Aton. All right. I wonder if I can get Mandalore out of my party now. Yes, I can. I had Mira in my party, and she probably leveled up. Or maybe, maybe let's not do that. Try that again. Remove. Add. Okay. There we go. She did level up, but I'll do that off camera. Let's, uh... Where'd all the Mandalorians go? Where is everybody, Braylor? I don't think you'll be able to return to Isis anytime soon. General Vaklu has a great deal of power. Even a Jedi couldn't defeat an entire army alone. Good to know. Thanks, buddy. Um, I don't know where everybody else went. Pass that, please. Thank you. Um, well, yeah, let's go ahead and talk to the guide. And we'll head back to our ship. Sith Assassins. Alrighty! Let's do it! You know what? Actually, what I can do... Do a whirlwind! Oh, I thought I affected more people than that, but... Alright, well, we'll just throw a couple frag grenades. They're all bundled up here. Look at that. Doing a decent amount of damage. Alright, force critical strikes. Yeah! Do some more critical strikes. Save the Mandalorians. Save them. I'm, doing a I'm seeing a lot of misses. Rap Ooh, did I save you? Can I heal you? No, I can't. Glad you're still alive, Zarga. You sound like a... I don't think your numbers do swell. They look really, really small. All right, guide. Are you the guide? No, you're the captain. Who's the guide? Guide. Ready to head back to your ship? Yes, I am. Let's go. Follow me. All right, now that I'm done here, let's see, what does my journal have to say? I'm sure I'm probably gonna have some cutscenes to do on the Ebon Hawk. So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war. I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. 
Hmm. Yeah, it was a compliment, Bodur, not an insult. I don't need compliments from a murderer. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. Battle, battle, battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malachor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover, stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's leave the past in the past. Let's get back to work, focus on the future. Fine by me. All right, so Bill Durr and Mandalore don't necessarily like each other. And in the next episode, I'll go around and kind of talk to more people, see uh, what's new with everybody. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.